bike to Renex snack or lap is too short to be serious. All right, folks, Saxby's two new items. One, again, all these places are making a big deal about bacon. Maybe it's just cheaper so it's easier to advertise. You're like, let's sell lots of bacon. But that's what we're getting is a lot of places are doing bacon. So they have a club, ch chicken cl sandwich club thing, chicken club sandwich. Really, it's just the regular chicken sandwich with American cheese and bacon, which should be good. But the real highlight here should be the new fizzy fruity punch sprite that they have of course you can probably mix it with coke and other things but i haven't seen a review on it haven't seen anything on it so i'm here reviewing both together so we'll eat then we'll be thirsty and we'll be able to review the beverage so all right made a lot of faces there but what I assume is that it's just a fruit punch flavored Sprite, which sounds fun. I thought fruit punch was usually available through the the freestyle anyways. Maybe not. I, I guess I don't keep up with it enough. But a nice toasted bun, a very tender filet with crispy edges. Oh my goodness. And pickles, by the way. This looks good. Also, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video, and check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack. So here's one good look at it before I start chowing down. In the past, I've said this is the best, one of the best, not the best, one of the best chicken sandwiches. I mean, I've even said it's better than Popeye's. I probably have it in my top five, if I remember correctly. Because it's the in-between of a Chick-fil-A and a Popeye. It's got the crisp, but it's got the tender. So, this one, if you love both Chick-fil-A and Popeye's and want something that's kind of a hybrid of the two, this is that. As for the bacon and the cheese, I haven't really gotten there yet. Not bad. So if a club you usually think, okay, you got turkey, ham, lettuce, tomato, cheese, but you replace the lettuce with pickle and you replace the meat with chicken. But this roll, it's, it's a good option. I really do like this. This bun, so that's real. Cool. Even though the the cheese and the bacon don't have a heavy impact on the sandwich, that's good. That's a very enjoyable sandwich. I do prefer the OG more. I think it just shines brighter if it's just chicken and sauce. But there's nothing wrong with adding some bacon and cheese. Has a little meatier, saltier and cheesier component to it. I almost ended the video before I switched to the soda. I'll give that an 8 out of 10. Just not as good as the, the without, you know, but it's still enjoyable. So, it's a bright red soda. I think the Sprite makes it brighter than, you know, if it was just a, a different soda. But yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't want to put this down. Mmm. Mmm. So a lot of people talk about how they love the Fruit Punch Mountain Dews. And I love them. I love Cyclone. I love uh, the Bojangle Southern Shock. Oh, this shouldn't be limited time. This needs to be permanent. Permanent. That slaps. You know how you love to go to McDonald's and get their Sprite? They have a McDonald's Sprite mixed with straight up Kool-Aid. Oh my goodness. Folks, if you go to Saxby's for anything, 
go for this. You don't even have to get chicken. You could go to Chick-fil-A, which is better. And then you can run to Saxby's and get this soda. Fizzy Fruity Punch or Fizzy Fruit Punch. I don't know, but that is like you took McDonald's Sprite and you took Kool-Aid and you put them together. Deadly. Deadly. If you if you want a, a mixer with your alcohol, with your liquor. Oh my goodness. Alright, Saxby's. That's a, that's a 10 out of 10. You got me out. And I'm out here. I'm about to go try, or at least hopefully go try the new Mountain Dew Legend from B-Dubs. But that just turned my head and made me go, wow. Just wow. And I can't be drinking a lot of soda. I really should slow down on that. But wow. All right, Saxby's. Good good job on the soda. Uh, if you like cheese and bacon, you can add it to your chicken sandwich. I guess it's not really an upcharge because now it's called a club. But then again, it could be. I don't know. You'd have to look at the menu prices. But that's that. That's my review. I'm sticking to it. And I will see y'all around.